three, two, one. Hello, welcome to this week's edition of Panther News Nation. I'm Rachel Stewart. And I'm Peyton Manorino. Spring break was a wonderful opportunity for boarders and day students alike to take some time to recuperate before we begin the last final stretch of school. Here, we take a look at what our own PNN class did during this time. I think my favorite highlight was definitely spending a week with the boys in Palmdale at Almost Place. Uh, it was a very fun time being there and we did a lot of uh, hiking and rock climbing, which was a lot of fun. My favorite part of my spring break was going snowboarding in Colorado. My favorite part of spring break was going to North Carolina with my best friend and having a good time there with her family. My favorite part of break was getting to spend a week with my family on Sanibel Island in Florida. It was really fun to go to the beach and spend time with them before I graduate. Uh, my favorite part of spring break was probably going to Union Station. The aquarium there was pretty cool and there was a few good places to eat. Okay. My favorite part of spring break was getting to go back home and visit my family that I haven't seen in a really long time. My favorite part of break was hanging out with the boys in California and hiking around the Devil's Punch Bowl. Only seven more weeks left to go, so let's finish strong. Even though spring break was supposed to be a break, that didn't stop many students from performing service projects. Emory Grant and Ellie Church take a look in this week's Magnify the Good. Over spring break, some students chose to do service to help out the community. Drew Bosman talks about what he did. Over spring break, I helped Mr. Evans uh, set up drums and repair them for the middle school band drumline. I felt like I was accomplishing something uh, throughout doing it. I feel like uh, it wasn't just about hours, but I felt like I was actually making a difference in helping the community. Previously, I have done service, which is making cards and making little gift baskets for residents at Peace Haven for different holidays. So I made one for them for Easter, and I made one for them for Thanksgiving with cards that gave a Bible quote on each card. I also uh, just like enjoy helping people. I think by doing this, I'm um, giving the example for others to also start participating in service as well. Thank you to everyone who participated in the service over break. And remember, there are still many opportunities to get more hours and contribute to the community. This is Ellie Church for PNN. And with all this beautiful weather, we should be able to get in lots of service hours. The spring-like weather is giving the Field and Natural History class plenty of opportunity to take the classroom outdoors. Peyton has more. My fourth period class is Field and Natural History. We do a lot of interesting things in that class. One of those things is visit research areas, or RA sites. I asked a couple of my classmates what they do in their RA sites and what they study. This week, we talked to Hannah Broadbeck. My RA site is in the Eastwoods, and I'm really focusing on the creek water quality. For my project this semester, I'm focusing on invertebrates, because invertebrates are indicator species. They tell us a lot about the health of our creeks at Prynne. So it's been really interesting catching invertebrates and getting in there with a net and just observing the invertebrates. Throughout the fall, there was a lot of leaf litter in my creek, so I wasn't sure if they were invertebrates, and it was just really interesting to see how it affected the way the creek runs. Whereas now, the creek is really cleared through and like the water is really clear, so I'm hoping to find a lot more invertebrates. You're measuring data from the same exact place over time, so you can really see if what you're measuring is changing. This is Peyton Manorino for Panther News Nation. If you want to learn more about research area sites, Peyton will explain more next week when he interviews Aria McMullen. Let's now check in with Josh Hopkins for a look at this week's weather. Hey everyone, here's the weather forecast for the week. We will see mostly sunny skies and warm weather. The only exception to that will be tomorrow, which may bring a full day of spring showers. Besides that, expect plenty of sunshine this week. Back to you, Peyton. Thanks, Josh. And that's what's happening around Principia this week. From all of us here at PNN, make it a great week.